Hi, church. Hi, family. My name is Liu Peng, and this is my wife, Shasha. In 2010, I was studying my second year at NUS at the same time in SOT. Shasha had already graduated from a university in China, but our parents felt we should get married before she came, and we did that by faith in September 2010. We didn't have any savings, and we were surviving primarily on my salary of less than 2000 a month. Liu Peng tried to earn more by giving tuition. Each month, half of our income was spent on rent, water, and electrical bills. We hardly spent money on anything else except for daily necessities. Life was tough because we were financially very tight, but we never stopped tithing. To us, 10% of our income belongs to God. When the rise and the bill season of 2011 and 2012 came, we really gave by faith. Our offering a month was not much, but it was a big sacrifice for us. Once, Shasha asked me if we could ever have our own home. I said to her, yes, one day. But in my heart, I was thinking, even with a university degree, it will be many years before we could have our own place. We were living from hand to mouth and to cut down our spending, we looked for cheaper room to rent. As it was also a rice and bill season, we did not buy a bed. Instead, we got a single mattress and slept on the floor. But we loved the Lord. We kept giving our tithes, offerings, and to the building fund. We told ourselves that our offering can pay for another church, for the, for, can pay for another chair in the church. As we built the house of God, we are blessing even more people. When the building fund ended in 2012, God blessing started to pour in. Shasha got a job at Apple, and her new salary was a big increment from the previous job. I graduated in May 2012, but I couldn't find a desirable job. I went for many interviews, but there was no position available for me. As a husband, I felt discouraged. In 2013, Although I was unemployed, God challenged me to trust Him even more. Shasha and I decided to pledge more than twice the amount we gave the previous year. I chose to believe God's words and obey Him. Every month, blessings start to come, allow me to fulfill our pledges. But I still didn't have a job. Also, Shasha was pregnant by then. After completing my faith, our faith pledges, one day, a manager from a company called me. He, he said that after my interview with him half a year earlier, he could not forget me. Even in his dreams, there was a voice telling him to look for me. The feeling kept growing stronger, and for half a year, he almost had insomnia because he couldn't sleep. He had to hire me. And so, I got a job in his company. That first month, I would start working. My son Isaac was born. I was then, yeah, I was then headhunted by an American IT company to be in charge of the sales in the China market. Overnight, my salary and commission increased by more than 70%. At the same time, Shasha also received a pay increment. In the past few years, we have shifted house for six times. Even though our salary was so little, we gave a total of 11400 to the Arise and Build campaign in the last two years. God never forgot our dream. We are now permanent residents of Singapore, and this month, Shasha, Isaac, and I will be moving to our own home. Praise the Lord. When we build God's house, He will build our house. This year, we are still trusting in God because we love, love God and His house. We can't wait to give again in the Arise and Build. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord.